Hi, right, thank you for joining me for another short lecture. And today, my friends, I want to discuss what Christians call the hidden chapter. What is the hidden chapter? Well, as Christians claim that Isaiah 53 is specifically not read, specifically not read, my friends, by Jews yearly during their Haftarah reading. Is this true or not? No, friends, it is not. Actually, it's a very, very dishonest attempt to slander Jews. First of all, there are many, many portions of not just Sefer Yeshayahu, the book of Isaiah, but within the other books of the prophets that we skip during the yearly Haftarah cycle. And only someone not familiar with Judaism would think that Jews read the prophets straight through yearly. Actually, the order is all over the writings of the prophets. And again, in no particular order. In other words, the order that does exist nowadays was developed much, much later. Christian missionaries would also be surprised to know that halakhically, according to Jewish law, there is no set order of the haftarot that have to be read. In other words, the order that we have today was developed much, much later, maybe around 800, 900 years ago. And every community has their own numeration of what they read. In other words, the practice was just to read any portion of the prophets to fulfill one's halachic obligation. I mean, the whole practice of reading the prophets arose during the time of the Maccabees because we were forbidden from studying Torah. So what? So we would study portions of the prophets that tied into some Torah portion. Missionaries should also first stop and verify their sources before just parroting what another missionary may have said. Because if they did, they would know that nowhere, nowhere in the Talmud or in any other rabbinic source did it list any verse to exclude or any verse to include. And regarding Isaiah 53, this for sure is never mentioned. And another question that we should ask them is that where did they get the idea that Isaiah 53 was once read and then later forbidden. Again, my friends, nowhere. In other words, any Jew could read Isaiah 53 today if he likes on Shabbat or any other day and not be violating any law of the rabbis. However, our, our obligation, like we said, is to choose a portion of the prophets that ties into that week's Torah portion. Now, can you think of a Torah portion that Isaiah 53 ties into? especially if you think it's speaking about the Messiah, being that the concept of the Messiah does not literally appear in the Torah? No, friends, like we said, that the order of the Haftarot, of the prophetical readings that we have today in the synagogue, was developed much, much later, less than a thousand years ago, just to organize the Sabbath service just a bit. And as you know, that many communities also have a huge variation in their Haftarot liturgy. So, is this fact or is it fiction? Let's recap. Well, is it a fact that Jews deliberately only excluded Isaiah 53 from their weekly Haftarah reading due to them knowing that it was speaking about Jesus? And again, this has become known as the hidden chapter claim among Christians. And again, Christians also claim that all other chapters of the prophets are read by Jews, except only this one. Is this factual again? No, friends. What is a fact is that, one, like we said, Jews never read all the prophetical writings during their Haftarah readings, and two, that there are many, many chapters, even in some cases, whole books that are skipped during our reading, like the Book of Nahum. The Book of Nahum is never read during the reading. Does that in some way speak about Jesus? Now, here is a list of other chapters also skipped in the Book of Isaiah alone. No, many, many more chapters are skipped in the prophets, but I don't list them here because the list would be too long. Now, what chapters in Isaiah are also skipped? How about chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 15, chapter 16, chapter 17, chapter 20, chapter 21, chapter 23, Chapter 25, chapter 26, chapter 30, chapter 31, chapter 35, chapter 37, chapter 38, 
chapter 39, chapter 45, chapter 46, chapter 47, chapter 48, chapter 50, oh, we can't forget chapter 53, chapter 58, chapter 59, and chapter 64. So, so much for the hidden chapter. So this, my friends, is thus fiction. For more information, my friends, on everything Jewish, please visit BeJewish.org. Thank you.